Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Wahara Kakwadash, Brakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite, if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquath, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. It's the brother Karatazai, and I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. Okay, so what we have here is a KJV Bible verse of the day for Friday, August the 12th, 2022, the year of the turnip, as deemed by the Apostle Tahar, which he received through the Holy Spirit, the Rakah Hadash. All right. And truly, this has been a, a, a turn up year. Okay, so the verse of the day comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse 17. And it reads, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And that thee is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai's elect. All right. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord Yahweh. So that's it, man. Their righteous, the Lord's elect, their righteousness is of him. Not of man, all right? It's a, it is of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. So in these times that we're coming into, all right, no matter what Esau, Edom, and these other nations do to the Lord's elect, they're going to be uh, justified in Yahweh's righteousness, all right? So it says no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. There's nothing you're going to be able to do to the elect, okay? So with that, I'm going to grab, we're going to grab some precepts, okay? But first of all, let's, we're going to go into the, uh, this KJV Bible verse of the day. In this Bible app, the My Sword, it has the, uh, you know, strongest definitions, all right? <clears throat> but this is going to be Isaiah chapter uh, 54 and verse 15. We're going to jump up to verses, all right? And it says, behold. They shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall come together against thee shall fall for thy sake. So everybody that's going to come up against the Heavenly Father's elect, his chosen, the remnant, all right, hey, they're going to they're gonna fall for the Heavenly, for, for the Israelites' sake, which are, they are, the uh, rod of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh's inheritance. It tells us that in the book of Jeremiah. Okay? So with that, let's go here and grab a precept. This is going to be the book of Psalm. All right? <clears throat> Salakia, bear with me. This is going to be the book of Psalm, chapter 2. We're going to read verses 1 through 4. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing, all right? Because these other nations, they imagine that they're going to be, they got next, all right, as brothers say. But they don't got next, all right? They imagine a very vain thing, and they rage when they hear that the so-called Negro man, the so-called Latino man, the so-called Native American man, all right, are going to be in power forever, all right, that upsets them, okay? 
the kings of verse two, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord Yahweh and against his anointed saying, yeah, they, they put themselves in power. All right. Verse three, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. All right. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall have them in derision. And the Heavenly Father is going to laugh because nothing that you, uh, you uh, enemies of the Israelites do is going to prosper. That's why the start, the KJV Bible verse of the day, Isaiah 54, verse 17 said, No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. All right. We're going to grab two more uh, precepts and we'll close out. Uh, this is going to be the book of St. Matthew. All right. St. Matthew chapter 16, and we're going to grab verse 18. And this is in red letter. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And it reads, uh, Salakia. Okay. I just got a notification. Uh, I was, I'm on my phone, but I'm also looking at my, uh, my, uh, laptop. And it says, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So nothing that you can do to the Israelites is going to uh, work. Anything that you do to try and stop the Heavenly Father or come up against his chosen is going to be shut down, man. All right. Now, let's get this word for church. All right, it is, let me see here. Okay, church, G1577, Ecclesiast, Ecclesi Ecclesia, all right? It says, a gathering of citizens called out from their homes into some public place and assembly. See, that's the real church, all right? You don't go in some building where only a certain amount of people uh, can hear you, all right? You go out into the highways and the hedges, the highways and the byways to push this word, which the Israelites do, all right? Um, continuing on, A, an assembly of the people conveying at the public place of the council for the purpose of deliberating, the public place, all right? Not confined in some building. B, this is the point, the assembly of the Israelites. All right. So that's why Yahweh Shai said, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So with that, let's grab one more precept. Then we could we could close out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to go into the book of St. John. All right. Uh, let me see here. You know, it's like I can bear with me one second. Con, this is St. John chapter 10. All right. Let me go up here to show it. St. John chapter 10. We're going to grab verses uh, 28 through 30. All right. And we can close out with this. And this is a red letter. So whenever you see the words in the scriptures in red letter, that means that it's Yahweh Shai speaking, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, our Lord, our King, and our Savior. And it reads, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any pluck them out of my hand. All right? Uh, and this is speaking of Yahweh Shai's sheep. Let's start at verse 27 and read on down. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. All right? And I give them, Salakia, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Okay? So, Khan, no weapon formed against the Israelites. All right, the Heavenly Father, Salakia, the Heavenly Father's chosen, his elect out of the uh, nation of Israel, no harm shall come to them. 
All right. Yes, the scripture says there shall be some be beheaded. All right. For for roughly paraphrasing for the sake of the Lord. All right. But then also when you read in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three. All right. That even though to some they're deaf and I'm just roughly paraphrasing. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's grab it. And, and then we'll close out with this scripture. OK. Yeah, let's go here to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. Uh, and we'll start at verse 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High Yahweh, and there shall, no tor there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. So yeah, they're going to think they did something, all right? And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of man, yet is their hope full of immortality. All right. And we know in the book of First Thessalonians, chapter four, verse 16 through about 18, it says the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. All right. So Khan, hey, brothers, let's. This, brothers and sisters, let's keep the faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Shai, in these very trying times that we're coming into, rapidly approaching. All right, and that's, that's what we got to do, man. We got to keep the faith. So, like I said earlier, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Koha Loyim La, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Wahara Chakodash Barakatam. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who well, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.